right, so let's try to do this problem. We should be able to do it based on everything we've done so far. So we have an eight centimeter tall object that thing's eight centimeters high. Uh, located 16 centimeters in front of a lens, which has a radius of curvature of 10 centimeters. Now what does the radius of curvature tell you? The focal length, yes. <laughs> what is the focal length of this lens? Five centimeters. The focal length is five centimeters, yes. How did you know that? You take half of the radius of curvature. Right. Half of the radius of curvature is the focal length. So the focal length in this case is five centimeters. Now with that piece of information, how do you locate the image of an object? You use that formula. Ray diagrams are probably the least accurate way of determining the image form. And I won't have you draw them without giving you a diagram to draw them on. It's very difficult to draw straight one. So we'll use the formula. Anybody remember what the formula is? One over the focal length equals one over the image length, the distance the image is from the lens, plus one over the object length, which is the distance the object is from the lens. So we know the focal length, one over five centimeters. The image length is what we are trying to solve for, plus the object length. And what's the object length in this case? 16 centimeters. Please don't say negative 11 equals I. Oh, come on. That would be horrendous mathematics. <laughs> 1 over 5 centimeters minus 1 over 16 centimeters equals 1 over I. I is equal to. Anybody got it? Go through the math. Don't forget to invert it when you're done because what you get is 1 over i when you do the math. 7.3 is what you should end up with. Now, let's describe this image. What information can I get from that? The location, obviously, but can I tell whether it's upright or inverted? Can I tell whether it's reduced or enlarged? No, no, no. Can I tell whether they're real or virtual? Yes. Yes, I can. This piece of information tells me location and whether it's real or virtual. Is it real or virtual? It's real. 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 Why? Because it's positive. Positive number tells you real. That comes from it. Now, how do I get these other two? How do I get upright and inverted? I reduce them wrong. We use the magnification formula. What is the magnification formula? I over L. So the magnification equals negative image length. And what's that? 7.3 divided by the object length. 16 centimeters. Okay. So what is the magnification? Negative one half. on magnification? No. There are really no units. This is 0.45 times the size. So, upright or inverted? Inverted. Why? From the negative sign. Reduced or enlarged? Reduced from from the decimal point. So it's less than one. Inverted and enlarged. It's reduced because this number is less than one. Basically, a one times magnification would be the same size. Five times magnification would be five times larger. And the object length is how far it's away from Yes. This is your object length. And now determine the height of the image. How would you determine the height of this image? HI over HO equals the magnification as well. So the magnification
magnification of an object also equals the height of the image over the height of the object, HI over HL. Mm. Magnification is 0 0.45. Height of the image over the height of the object, 8 centimeters. Given to us in the problem, 8 centimeters tall. And so the height of the image is? 3.6 centimeters. And does that make sense based on the magnification? Yes. Yes, we expected it to be reduced, and it is in fact reduced.